you can use a metro card so it's the same you know price as a subway and you get an amazing view of Manhattan it only takes a few minutes to go across and right now because of uh, coronavirus it's running on a 15 minute schedule so usually during like rush hour times it runs more frequently because of coronavirus it's every 15 minutes it costs 275 in each direction and it's a it's a lot of fun it's and it's totally safe and extra good the cabin of the tram rises 250 feet and the closest subway to the you know north south island tram station is the nrw over on third avenue or the 456 at lexington avenue so either one will get you over here and then just a short walk was built in 1976 and it was originally supposed to be only temporary until the subway was built but people so love taking the tram that it became permanent and uh, now of course there's a subway that you can take to Roosevelt Island so this isn't the only way to get there but still a lot of people love it not only do local residents of Roosevelt Island take it but you know uh, tourists as well and it all runs except during very 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 high like thunderstorms with a lot of wind and uh, on very few occasions is it canceled otherwise it's always running
Queensboro Bridge, also known as the 59th Street Bridge because its Manhattan end is located between 59th and 60th Streets, connects the Upper East Side of Manhattan to Long Island City in the borough of Queens. The bridge passes over Roosevelt Island and spans the East River. We love walking over this cantilever bridge, which was completed in 1909 as it has a permanent pedestrian and bicycle pathway on the lower level, in addition to its toll-free vehicle lanes located on both the upper and lower levels. the old trolley kiosk from 1909 which is constructed from beautiful Beaux Arts terracotta. It once stood on 2nd Avenue at East 60th Street where trolleys crossed the bridge and let out or accepted passengers. The kiosk was later relocated to Roosevelt Island and now serves as the Roosevelt Island Historical Society's Visitor Center. It was closed today but be sure to check it out when it's open. Besides just taking the tram for its spectacular views, there's a really nice free public park that you can visit while you're on Roosevelt Island. When you exit the tram, you'll see signs to walk towards the southern tip of Roosevelt Island to the Four Freedoms Park. The Four Freedoms Park opened in 2012 on four acres of land and is part memorial to former President FDR, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, and also a site designed to celebrate the four freedoms that Roosevelt outlined in his 1941 State of the Union Address, freedom of speech, of worship, of want, and from fear. The park was conceived by late architect Louis Kahn. In addition to its unique social and cultural position, it stands out architecturally as a memorial constructed from 7,700 tons of raw white granite and has 120 little leaf linden trees, which are all perfectly aligned to form a unified sight line. It's really quite beautiful to see. The little leaf trees blossom in June, so that makes it a particularly beautiful time to visit. Thank you. 
the park has gorgeous views of the Manhattan skyline and the Queensboro Bridge, which you can see any time of year. Be aware that there's no dogs allowed to visit Four Freedoms Park, which is one of the reasons we decided to leave Sweet Hudson, our doggy, at home.
For only $2.75 for a really fun ride on the tram in each direction, you can't beat that price, especially for those views of New York City. Extra good. Plus, it's the only commuter cable car in North America. for watching guys please hit the subscribe button and notification bell and give our video a thumbs up and share it if you liked it you may also enjoy watching some of our other great videos highlighting unique places and small businesses in New York City many of which are struggling to survive in this strange and difficult time due to the coronavirus pandemic in New York City please also consider supporting our channel and our continued work documenting all these places by supporting us through Patreon and become a patron where you can also get free perks. Bye guys! Bye guys and be safe! <laughs>